So LTT or Linus Tech Tips or Linus Media Group has put out PTM7950. I think they've done one video on this stuff before. I've touched on this stuff many times. I've done it in many videos for handhelds and I promote it on lots of different devices. So I have a lot of experience with PTM7950. PTM7950 is a phase change material. It's a thermal solution that you can put on a heat sink, for example, put your cooler on it for a CPU or a GPU. And in theory, just like a thermal paste, it's gonna help transfer heat off of the chip into the cooling unit and then basically get that heat out of the system. We have a few different options out there. We have thermal paste, obviously. We have thermal pads. Uh, there's like different types of pads you can buy. There's liquid metal. And then of course there's PTM7950. Paste comes as generally as a liquid type material, kind of like a paste. You put it on there and it just stays as a paste basically until it dries out essentially. And it gets the heat out and it's kind of the de facto. It works, but it, you know, there's better stuff out there. Uh, there's like pads in that typically, like this is for like VRMs and that, but you can get them for CPUs as well. And uh, they apparently work okay, but they're not fantastic. They're just kind of easy. Of course, then there's liquid metal, which liquid metal probably is the best solution right now, but however, it does carry risks. You can, it's conductive, so you can fry your system. PTM7950, I've covered many times on my channel. Uh, basically what it is, it's a phase change material. So it comes kind of like a pad of sorts, but it's also a lot more liquid kind of. You can see it there. It's between two plastic sheets there. And inside is basically a paste-like material. It's a little bit thicker than paste. You put it onto your CPU or your GPU. Then you basically do a bunch of heat cycles, cold heat, cold heat, cold heat, get those temperatures up. And over time, what this is gonna do is it's gonna actually turn into a solid material. And that solid material has much more conductivity than thermal paste, in theory. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna be more effective than thermal paste, should have really good longevity as well. So I've been buying my PTM, you can get it on a site called eBuy7, that's where I've been buying it. If you go on the Legion Discord, I think they recommend it there, but that's where I recommend it. And it's Honeywell PTM7950, you can see that there. And it works, it works amazingly well, much better than paste. And it appears to be authentic anytime I've ordered it from them. Uh, that's what that is there. This giant sheet is from them as well, but you have to order it from China. It's imported um, and it takes a little bit of time and it's just not the most transparent selection. I've had no issues with it. I've ordered it many times, but uh, for some people, they may not be comfortable doing that. So uh, LTT has their, I guess, solution to that and they're just basically selling it themselves. I'm sure they're bringing it in. It could even be from that company. I'm not sure, like the reseller bringing it in. Of course, it does come in a huge price premium, but they do sell and it's easy. You just go to the LTT website, you give them to your American dollars, which I guess they then convert into Canadian dollars and ship from Canada and then ship it back to me in Canada. So I'm giving them Canadian dollars, which are converted into American. Then it goes back into Canadian dollars to them. And then they ship me the Canadian product in Canada. Figure that out. Uh, I don't know why they don't just offer Canadian, probably because American dollars are worth more and it's a business idea. Uh, but anyways, this is gonna be, for a lot of people, an easier way. Noctua, I can just throw some Noctua or like Arctic Silver. Um, I might, because people don't necessarily know what TF8 is necessarily. Thermora, I might just use the Noctua stuff, the uh, NTH1, just because people will know what it is and they're like comfortable with it. So I might use that. Uh, so I'm gonna do a test with Thermal Paste. I'm gonna do a test with the uh, Honeywell stuff that I know is Honeywell. I'm gonna do a test also with the Linus stuff here, but realistically, if the Linus stuff, so my results here that I expect to be is the paste works, fine, whatever. Then I expect that the actual uh, PTM is gonna be much better, significantly better. It should result in lower temperatures, potentially better scores. Uh, like if we're doing like Cinebench or something like that, you should get better scores. Uh, but generally speaking, just better temperatures overall. So I expect this stuff to work fantastic because I pretty much know that it does. Uh, however, I haven't used it on that chip specifically. And then I expect, hopefully, the Linus stuff to be equal. So what would happen in an ideal scenario here is the stuff that I imported that I know is authentic, Honeywell PTM7950 is going to work just as good as the Linus stuff, which then speaks good to the Linus stuff. For LTT, this stuff performs as good or better I'm just hoping for as good as the official Honeywell. And if it performs as well as the Honeywell, I can see that they've carved out a very important market for people who don't want to necessarily import this stuff from a random site overseas. Okay, here's a look at the internal cooling system on the laptop. Again, RTX 4090 and 13950HX. So very hot CPU, very hot GPU. Has pretty good cooling. Two fan setup, nice thick fans there. Heat pipe, heat pipe with a vapor chamber. So overall, it, it actually is a very uh, well-cooled system overall. 
It doesn't run at full wattage though. The GPU is not going to be, you know, like 170 watt variant, but again, it's still hot components here. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to take these off here and you can see what it looks like inside. And then we'll basically show you, then I'm going to basically show you what it is like to apply PTM 7950. It's different than thermal paste, you know, just spread it on. It's a little bit different, but let's take this off and have a look. Okay, and here's the thermal paste application. You can see there, it's just a nice spread. You can see the difference in thermal paste. It's just kind of like a, like it's paste, right? Uh, and when it stays in theory until it dries out, like, which is a bad thing on thermal paste, you don't want it to dry out. It'll stay with this type of semi kind of thick consistency and then eventually it'll dry out and become less effective. But realistically, this is kind of how the paste should stay, like basically as a paste. With the PTM, obviously it's gonna harden into a hard material, like a solid. So that's the application there, pretty good. I'll just make sure that I didn't miss anything. Let's open this up here and I'll show you how to do it. So what you do basically is you cut it. So I need to get my little slicey. This is a huge, <laughs> a massive sheet of the stuff here. So uh, basically what you do is you cut it to the shape of your uh, chips. You don't really want to go over much. It's not conductive, so it's not going to cause damage, but you don't want to go just like way over. Uh, for one, it's pretty expensive, but also it just makes it a bit of a pain when you're peeling it off. So the way I do it is I kind of get it just slightly over make a little mark there, and then I'll make a little mark there. The actual plastic on this is a different material than the official Honeywell, or so I can tell official Honeywell. Uh, it can be a little bit of a pain now because you have to actually peel it off, at least the other stuff is. I don't know if this is easier. The plastic on the outside appears to be a different material. So you basically peel it off like that, get out there. Of course, when it gets on your hands, it never comes off. It doesn't exactly stain it, it just it like literally gets into your clothing. I'll cut a little piece of it off later and we'll do a comparison head to head. Put it on like that. Uh, you want to give it some pressure so it sticks to the chip. You don't have to like press super hard, just a little bit of pressure. Uh, and then you peel it off, which can be, this is the hard part because you don't want to peel it right back off of the actual chip. That's terrible. This is why I go a little bit over and that's the side that I pull from. And then you have to be careful because it will be prone to basically peeling off of the chip. Okay, not bad. That's actually a pretty good application there. Yeah, so other than the blue hue on the LTT plastic, like physically the plastic, you can see that it's got a blue hue to it. Or, well, can't really probably see on camera. The actual little pad is the same color, appears to be. And, This is the Honeywell. Again, it's a different type of plastic underneath. That's the LTT. They do feel the same. And the thickness to my eye, it's very, very, very thin. Right? Luckily, I'm nearsighted. So I have good up close vision, but I do not have the best far vision. Ah, they seem to be the same, to be honest. Okay, and there we go. It's applied, nice and flat. Goes over a little bit, doesn't matter. It's not. Uh, it's not thermally conductive, so it doesn't matter that it goes over slightly. Uh, you don't really want to touch it. When you put the uh, actual thermal solution back on, you don't want to move it around a lot because it's going to mess it up, basically. You want to put your thermal back on. Just basically set it on, push it down, screw it in. You don't want to move it around. It's not like a paste that can squeeze out or anything like that. So you really want to kind of one-shot this on. You don't want to tear it and mess it up. Uh, so there you go. That's how it's going to look there. And we'll put this back together and we'll start uh, cooking it. And I'll show you kind of the process of that as well. This is the LTT stuff. So when you first apply the PTM 7950, you may actually find your benchmark scores go down. What you need to do is essentially turn that liquid like material into a solid. And I call that basically cooking the PTM. So what you do is you're going to run a bunch of benchmarks. What I typically do, if it's just a, you know, an APU, you can just run Cinebench. If it's a CPU and GPU system, what you want to do is basically slam it with a bunch of heat. So I loaded up Cinebench a bit and also Boulder's Gate and just basically let it sit there at full load, getting that PTM nice and hot. So I do a cycle of that for about 10 minutes, then I cool it down, let the game kind of just shut off, let the chip cool down, then I do it again. I heat it up, cool it down, heat it up, cool it down. I do that usually five, six times, maybe seven times. And then typically what I do is I just play a game for a little while, like maybe half an hour or something like that. 
Then when I'm done, I shut down the system and I leave it overnight. When I come back in the morning, typically what happens is those scores are gonna go way up because the PTM has turned into a more solid material. And you may find that slowly over the next few days as well, you might find that you're getting a little bit better results overall as that PTM turns from a liquid into a solid. Okay, so now let's look at some results here. So first runs I did Cinebench. I did two runs of Cinebench, logged it in Hardware Info. You can see here that the Noctua Pace, the average temperature throughout the run was about 100 degrees. On the two PTMs, it was considerably lower. The Honeywell was 93.8, so basically 94. And the Linus was 94.1, so basically 94, so interchangeable. And a considerable drop from the average on the Noctua Paste. You can see here that the, average, that the actual temperature max is a little bit lower as well, 105, it dropped down to about 100 or so. So a little bit of a temperature drop on the max. Basically, you're getting peaks here and then it's throttling. And I can say that because the average watts on the paste is only about 80, where it's 93 on the PTM and 100 on the uh, Linus. So I mean, regardless of which paste you use and regardless of which PTM you use, it looks like the PTM is gonna have a profound effect on cooling where the CPU is able to just basically boost more and run at a higher wattage, which would give you higher scores, obviously, because you're basically getting higher watts overall because of lower temperatures. So you can see here that the paste is having a really hard time of keeping the CPU cool, which is then just resulting in throttling. And you can also see that here in the clock. So 2685 average clocks on the Noctua Pace versus 29 and 3000 on the Linus PTM. So these PTMs are making a big difference on clocks and they're pretty close to one another. Uh, it could just come down to you know how good of a job I did applying them and that. So I would call these relatively interchangeable, although the average watts is quite nice there. Uh, a little bit more on the line of stuff there. Uh, noise levels were a little bit louder on the uh, paste, but not much. It basically was just throttling rather than the fans getting noisier. It's probably peak fan realistically on this laptop. So it just went up and then it just throttled down on the paste because it wasn't able to keep it cool. And that did result in higher scores. So the first run on the paste and the second run on the paste, and I gave these a few minutes to cool down between around 20, 22,000. So it's okay, but you can see a pretty big jump there. And when we went to the PTM, we went to 24.5 and around 24.3. So big jump in performance there overall. And the Linus stuff was around the same. The first run was slightly higher, you can see here. Uh, and then the second run was more normal. So basically the same as that. So relatively interchangeable between these two PTMs here, showing that the Linus stuff is doing the same as the Honeywell that I had to import, which is good. And both of them are making a huge difference over standard paste. And this is good paste, this is an octal paste. Then I did some Baldur's Gate. I just left the game to run for about 10 minutes or so. And I just wanted to compare the paste to the uh, PTM because I mean, obviously the Honeywell is doing the same stuff as the Linus stuff here. So you can see here that the average temperature on the CPU was 81 on the paste, eight, almost 82. And then it was about 76 on the uh, Linus stuff. So that's gonna be about six degrees cooler on the line of stuff, if not seven degrees cooler. So that's good, that's what you'd expect. Uh, temperature max is the same, so it's just throttling basically. Average watts are also higher on the line of stuff, so it's running cooler despite the fact that it has more watts going in. Interesting, the clocks were averaging higher on the uh, uh, paste, but it didn't really make a big difference. The, you'll see the FPS are basically the same. Uh, GPU now, the average watts are also the same. 130 on the Noctua paste. 130 on the Linus stuff. Now, one thing is this is not the highest watt version of this system. It's, you know, has high end components, 13950 HX, RTX 4090, but they're both set to a relatively low temperature threshold. Uh, you know, this and watt threshold. So you can see here, you know, this GPU is actually not really rated to even go that high, let alone, you know, it's supposed to be at about 115 watts, let alone 130 watts. So that's definitely just a power peak on this system here. If you had a hotter system, a thicker system, something like, you know, a Lenovo Legion, or an MSI larger laptop or an Asus larger laptop that was allowing more watts to go into the GPU, let's say 150 watts, 160 watts, 170 watts, you'd probably see even a more pronounced effect between the two of them here. But I just wanted to clear that up slightly, that this is just basically a wattage limitation here. And you would see probably increasing the watts even more, even a more pronounced effect. GPU temperature was higher on the paste here, lower on the line of stuff here. Remember junction temperature was higher on the paste, lower on the line of stuff here. Hotspot temperature was higher on the la on the paste, lower on the PTM. GPU clocks were close to one another. Uh, memory clocks were close to one another, and video clocks were relatively close to one another. And uh, basically, FPS was interchangeable. So what you're basically seeing here is that the PTM works. So PTM in general will see a 
fairly profound effect, especially on CPU. Uh, the GPU here is just not the hottest iteration of a 4090. Uh, but on the CPU here, you can really notice that PTM in general is going to lower CPU temperatures, which allows more watts to go into it, which allows a better score. Right? Okay, so what do I think of the Linus paste or Linus PTM? Uh, it works. It seems to be authentic when compared to the stuff that I imported, the, you know, most likely authentic PTM7950 Honeywell that I imported overseas and I've been using on and off for years basically and a lot of people have bought off these same buyers. Uh, I mean it seems to be performing identically basically potentially better but it's hard to say you know probably just margin of user error how well I applied it in the first place but it performs at least as well as the stuff that I'm bringing in from overseas which is fantastic because PTM7950 if you've watched any of my videos that I've shown it in many different devices it works considerably better than thermal paste, even really good thermal paste. I have different types of pastes here. You can see all these here and paste can be good and it's easy to use. And it's really, really cheap, but when it comes down to it, the PTM stuff works better. I especially find this true on devices that have limited cooling. So laptops, handheld devices, because there's only so much heat sink that you can get in there, only so much fan you can get in there. You know, if you have some desktop with a giant massive fan on it and 17 heat pipes coming off of it and liquid cooling and da 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 da. I mean it's probably still going to be fine with paste realistically because the actual cooling solution is massive. However when you have limited space you're looking at something like a laptop, something like a handheld, PTM7950 does work better than paste. You're going to basically get lower temperatures which is going to potentially reduce fan noise it's going to reduce wear and tear on those devices and most importantly by having lower temperatures you may experience higher wattages going into those gpus into those cpus which gives better performance that's especially true if you have thinner chassis like say you know if you're looking at a thin and light laptop with a lot of beefed up components inside you're going to be able to get that heat out a little bit better on those devices that are a little bit thermally constrained or if you just have some behemoth that has you know an i9 processor that's just going to be an absolute hot box in there and then 4090 and unlike my 4090 that you know really just is supposed to be at about 115 but boosts up to 130 maybe your 4090 is at 150 and boosts up to 170 or something like that that's a lot more heat going to that gpu and a lot more overhead for watts and therefore for performance so if you're able to keep that gpu cool and that cpu cool you're going to get better performance on those parts you're going to potentially get less fan noise which is good because then it's less annoying you're also going to potentially reduce wear and tear on those gpu and cpu if you're putting money into your device and you want to be getting the best performance out of it and you're comfortable taking off that cooling solution and putting on something like this and it's not in your country every country is different it's not going to avoid your warranty here in canada it will not avoid the warranty but in some countries it could so just be aware of that ptm 7950 works amazing i do also recommend i mean if you can pick this stuff up so easily now from ltt from linus uh i mean why not throw it in your desktop i probably will honestly it's just so easy to get and you get nice big sheets there it will outperform a paste in a desktop as well it's just that I typically find that it's more pronounced in smaller devices. But I mean, if I can get giant sheets of this stuff like that for, I mean, I wouldn't call it cheap, right? This stuff is not cheap by any means. Uh, but for the number of applications you get out of it, right? This stuff lasts for a long time, unlike paste. So, I mean, put in your bunch of CPU dies in here, unless you're like, in a, like a benchmarker or something, you're swapping out devices all the time. You know, something like this could last you for years, just one of them. I, of course, picked up three of them because i just wanted to get the free shipping but i mean you could buy some other stuff off of them whatever uh, but realistically i mean just one of these is going to last me for quite a long time i i do laptop reviews and benchmarks so i'm going to be swapping this stuff a lot so for me you know it's not going to last that long but for you something like this would actually last a really long time realistically so yeah i mean if you're looking to pick this stuff up it seems to be good uh, so good job to Linus and team. I mean, they're not making this stuff, but they're bringing it in. They obviously found a source for this stuff that is legit. Uh, the price I would consider fair, considering it's coming from, you know, North America. They're importing it from whatever country, getting it in here, packaging it up wherever they package it up. Uh, it's in North America and, you know, this stuff's a little bit hard to buy overseas. And so now we have access to it and it's going to last you for a long time. I think it's pretty fair. And the most important thing is it works just as well, if not slightly better, but I would say at least as well as the authentic Honeywell PTM7950. And that means that it's going to work a lot better than thermal paste. So yeah, good job guys. It works well and it seems to be authentic. That's the test.